Alrighty, so I'm going to do a quick update on um, some of the eucalypt trials I've been doing here in New Zealand. Um, I'll start with a disclaimer, these are not scientific in any way, they're just um, my casual findings. Um, it's on the west coast of New Zealand and South Island, I've been planting a few different types of eucalypts. There's only a handful that really grow well in the south of New Zealand where we get frost um, so I've got six of the common ones here in front of me um, yeah I want to talk about wind fastness specifically what will blow over and what won't so these I've been planting on the west coast where it's probably close to three meters rain per year that's over a hundred inches so it's extremely wet and when you get a lot of rain and waterlogged soil combined with following wind, high wind, which you occasionally get, um, you get a lot of tea, trees tip over. So I've been planting these six species basically just randomly, um, just mixed, um, just to see what grows best, what grows fastest and what, what stays up and it's been quite surprising to see um, what is wind fast and what isn't. So on the left, I've got from left to right, I've got uh, Deligatensis and then there's Regnans and Fastigata, which look pretty similar as seedlings. Then on the right, the right three, I've got Obata, Nitens in the middle, and then Gunnii on the far right. So I've planted quite a few of, of all of those, and I've got trees now that are up to eight years old. So what I've been finding is that the ash the ash type species, those on the left, um, so they're the sub subgroup monocalyptus within the eucalypts, and those on the right are in the gum or symphomertus subgroup. Those on the left, the ash, are the ones that have been that have been falling over. Um, and I've had quite a lot tip over, even as quite young trees, especially fastigata, and I'm not sure whether that's because they're more prone or just um, just luck because of the small sample size I've got but I've had all of those um, fall over or, or individuals fall over. I have had quite a few successful and stay up but they are the ones that have tipped over. Of those on the right, Ovada, Nitens, I've got some of those that are quite big now and Gunnii, I haven't had any that have fallen over so I would say if you're somewhere that's prone to very wet, soggy, waterlogged ground and high wind, um, definitely opt for, you want to be opting for the gums, not the ash. <clears throat> so night and Zovada be your best bet in those conditions. Um, I'm going to make a separate video about gunny eye because I'm not going to recommend planting that in wet conditions like on the west coast of New Zealand as they don't grow. Um, as well as Obata or Nitens, so I don't think they're worthy of consideration. Um, so yeah, um, the only other thing I would say is, is in comparison to the conifers I've planted, that there's a lot of conifers that will also have the same problem on the high rainfall, high wind on the west coast. Um, Pinus radiata and plantations often get bowled over, um, I've planted Douglas fir and had them blow over, though I've given up on those completely, and they're slow. Um, and the cypresses, Macrocarpa and Lusitanica, they also blow over, so more or less given up on those. Cryptomeria, Japonica is, is the best of the, of the conifers for those conditions. They will not blow over at all. So there you go.